Hey, what's up you guys? It's been a while since I posted a video and I thought, why not? We're stuck in quarantine again. Let's talk about some Harry Potter. Right, so today's video is actually probably going to be considered one of my more controversial ones because it's gonna be about Lily Potter. So you may be thinking, Brooklyn, how is that at all controversial? My answer to you would be because I don't like Lily and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. So throughout the story, everybody talks about Lily as if she's a bastion of virtue. She's just like the shining light of wonderful goodness. Like, yeah, she sacrificed her life to save her son. As a side note, I feel like most good parents who loved their children would do the same thing. I don't think that that's like particularly laudable in a sense. I mean, it is, don't get me wrong, it's great. She sacrificed herself for Harry, that's wonderful. It was very virtuous, it was very brave. Nobody's faulting her for that. My point is that I feel most parents in the same situation that Lily found herself in would probably do the same thing. And I find it really hard to believe that in the wizarding world, like nobody else had sacrificed their life to save a loved one in the same manner that Lily had that ended up protecting them or reversing a Nevada cadaver. Like either the wizarding world is entirely loveless and this was a new thing for them or people who sacrificed themselves for loved ones beforehand didn't have the wherewithal to do it in the same way that Lily did that resulted in Harry's protection. I don't know, but that's actually not what we're going to be talking about. So we're just going to get off that entire topic. No, instead what we are going to be talking about is Lily and her relation to Snape. And before anybody gets on their high horse and comes in here deciding that they're gonna rant about, oh, Snape was a creeper and he stalked Lily and she belonged with James. No, this is not a, a snilly argument. I'm not arguing in faith. This shouldn't have happened. Snape and Lily should not be together. Although I will say, <laughs> Snape and Lily shouldn't be together because Snape deserved better than Lily. That's actually going to be the discourse of this video because Snape did deserve better than Lily. He latched onto her because she was the first one to show him genuine, genuine, so, oh God, isolation is killing my ability to speak. She's the first one who showed him genuine kindness and friendship. Although it should be noted, Lily's friendship was very conditional. I will say that Lily was in the right to think that Snape was going down the wrong path and to try to discourage him from being friends with Mulciber and Avery, who would both later become Death Eaters. However, she failed to realize the situation that Snape found himself in that resulted in essentially this friendship of convenience with Mulciber and Avery. So while pretty Lily was sorted into, you know, beloved, overly favored, everybody's bias towards Golden Gryffindor house, and she was able to easily make friends, she was outgoing, she was aesthetically pleasing, she was in the slug club because she was apparently very smart, Snape, <laughs> the sorting hat, the moment it said Slytherin pretty much doomed him to this life of everybody immediately assuming that you were probably going to be a Death Eater. We know that Eileen and Tobias did not exactly have a loving, nurturing relationship and actually his childhood seems like with his parents in Cokeworth was pretty nightmarish, if not outright abusive. So Snape, this introverted, not exactly traditionally attractive kid who was very bookish and not athletic, who also had the misfortune of being sorted into Slytherin when everybody was super biased against them because the Dark Lord was rising to power, he wasn't having an easy time of it. And so he latched onto that friendship with Lily as like a lifeline and Lily's friends were like, girl, we don't know why you're even friends with him. Like you could do better. And she was like, guys, no, we're friends. But here's the thing. Lily wasn't really a friend to Severus because she was aware that the Marauders relentlessly bullied him, like physically assaulted him multiple times. She is aware that he wasn't exactly popular in Slytherin House. He wasn't like, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't popular. The poor kid like had no friends. So he's being bullied by people outside of his house. He's being kind of ostracized by people in his house and all he has is Lily and Lily is like, I don't want you to be friends with Mulciber and Avery because they're bad people. And like Snape's like, yo, it's all I got right now. I've got you and I've got these two assholes. And it's like, this poor kid is isolated and Lily's like, nope. 
don't be friends with them because then I don't want to be friends with you. More to the fact is the fact that in Snape's worst memory in Order of the Phoenix, when the Marauders just like, for no reason, bully the absolute hell out of this poor boy for the quote unquote reason that he just exists, Lily like pops up and she's like, hey, leave him alone. But then when James dangles Snape upside down and pulls his pants down in front of everybody, mind you, from other houses, nobody's stepping in to help this poor kid in this obvious instance of just like abject adolescent cruelty, Lily helps, but also she stifles a smile and I have book text. So here we go. It's Order of the Phoenix, chapter 28, Snape's worst memory. Uh, if this is the version of the book that you have, it's on page 648. And let's just read an excerpt. Many people in the small crowd watching cheered. Sirius, James, and Wormtail roared with laughter. Lily, whose furious expression had twitched for an instant as though she was going to smile, said, let him down. So Lily, Lily, bastion of virtue, Gryffindor, golden girl, popular, sweet, good-hearted Lily. Lily, sacrifice yourself for your child because you're such a good person, you should be a saint. Lily, Lily, saw her supposed best friend being tortured by her housemates in front of a crowd of people at school and almost laughed. She almost laughed. They pulled Snape's pants down and hung him upside down in front of a crowd of people, and this bitch almost laughed. So everybody's always telling Harry, your mom was such a good person, you're so much more like her than you are your dad, and it's like, no, Harry, you're not, because you know what? You're actually not mean to the same degree that James was, obviously, but also Harry recognizes that what the Marauders did to Snape was cruel and that their adolescent age had nothing to do with it because he at the same age does not do that to other people. He doesn't even do that to Draco. But Lily, who knew this was happening, who knew Snape had nobody else, who claimed that Snape was her best friend, who grew up with him in the same town of Cokeworth, almost laughs at him being treated so terribly. So this is my dispelling of the myth of Lily Potter being a grand and virtuous person. Because even if you want to argue that she was just a teenage girl, if somebody is your best friend and you claim to care about them and their well-being and you want them to stay away from other people so that they could be a better person and not go down the same path, you wouldn't be amused by bullies being so cruel and so mean to them. So. You can argue in the comment sections all you want that I'm a Snape stan and that I'm just biased, but you know what? It's in the text. Lily almost smiled when James is hanging Severus upside down and interpret it as you will. I don't know, maybe I grew up in a sheltered adolescence where people didn't treat other people this way. I didn't like a lot of people in my high school and I don't think I would smile if one of them was hung 10 feet upside down and was being laughed at by a mob of people, I mean, like, that is just a whole new level of mean. So, take this information as you will. Are you a Snape stan? Argue for Snape. Are you a gross marauder stan? Go for it. Do you think that Lily was just being uh, a teenage girl and this was, like, perfectly acceptable behavior? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching these videos. It really means a lot to me. I love reading the comments that I get on them and I look forward to making more and having more discussions with all of you. And if you like this, go ahead and leave it a like, share it so that we could grow our little community and get it a little bigger. I would really like to hit a thousand subscribers before 2021, but who the hell even knows at this point because the world is ending. But like I said, leave a comment in the comment section down below, hit the like button, hit the bell for notifications if you wanna know when these videos are posted because it's sporadic. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and thank you guys for watching.